To access the new phone portal, you're simply going to type in new phone forward slash and hit enter. It's going to take you to the portal here and you're going to enter your extension and your initial password will be 123123. And then you're going to click log in. Of course, you can select the remember me option if you want it to automatically remember you uh, when you go to this website. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to go to our preferences so that we can be sure all of our passwords are changed and share settings and things like that are taken care of. So I'm going to go to preferences. And the first thing we want to take a look at here are our voicemail pin. So I'm going to click here. You would enter the existing pin, which is 123123, and then you would choose your new pin. And this is going to be the pin that you use to check your voicemail in the event that you want to check your voicemail on your phone or anytime you're prompted to do so to check your voicemail. So select the pin that you would like to put here and make sure you enter it twice and click OK. You're also going to change your password. This is the password to enter the portal so that you can connect with all of these preferences. So enter your initial password, which is 123123, and then enter the password that you would like to use to have this portal secured. And then click OK, and you will have those two things set. The next thing we want to take a look at are your display preferences. For the most part, the defaults seem to be fine, but if you'd like to change your theme, you do have a couple of options there, and hopefully your time zone and your preferred language are already set to the uh, proper options. So you may decide you want to come down to your incoming calls. The defaults, again, may be exactly what you need, but you may decide you want to change your mind about call waiting and turn that off or uh, call screening and things like that. So you can make your decision about what types of incoming calls um, you would like to have. There's nothing in quick mode right now to make any adjustments on, but you might want to go to your notification options. So your simple voicemail is going to be the voicemail that you upload, and I'll show you how to do that in another segment. Uh, right now, all the voicemails are a default to, that says that your extension is not available at that time. We're gonna have fax options at a later time once we move into um, some new options on the Fortinet phones. So right now, you can just leave it as simple and with attachment, but one thing you may or may not want are your missed calls coming to your email. Now, if you feel like you miss calls often, and it may be a good thing that you get a notification via email, you may wanna have this setting turned on and your email address input right here. So that way, anytime you miss a call on the phone, it will go directly to your email. You can also say that you can listen to your voicemails from within your email. So you don't even have to go to your phone at all. You can simply click the play button if you have allowed for that option and it will play your voicemails um, and give you that transcription right there in your email. So go ahead and make sure that that is on or off for your preference and then you can decide what you would like for that to look like. Then when you're done, you're just gonna click the okay button and it will save all of those preferred settings.